Wunderbar. This one is string to union. Implement a string to union type. Take the type string argument. The output should be a union of input letters. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, let's just look at the actual tests and it will hopefully make it pretty clear. So this one here, A3, is a good one. So we're going to take in a string, hello, and we're going to return a union that has each letter in the string. See how that goes? Um, yeah. Ian, where would you start with something like this? So as far as I know, there's no split method <laughs> in TypeScript. Otherwise, no, that there isn't. Nice. Uh, so we're we going to have to build one. something up. I think there is yeah, a that's kind of challenge what we're, for that. That's kind of what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so do I need to make sure that this is a string? I guess probably. Actually, right? you don't. You, you you don't have to, but it's a good thing to no. do. Like I I would support it. Let's put it that way. All right, all right. Let's try it anyway. Uh, and then, so we need a way to split this up into pieces. It feels like it's maybe going to be something recursive, where I'm going to like mm -hmm. take up, uh, you know, the the first part of it, and and then all the last, and then like keep iterating over, yep, yep. and like keep pulling off one of the characters to make it into a union. Uh, but I don't know how I would get started with that. So the way that we, so for sure we need to grab we need to find a way to split this up somehow and the way to do that the only way to do that is to use the infer keyword so you can use template literal types and put stuff in here so I can put like mm -hmm. um, infer head and uh, infer tail and we could actually check this uh, head and then uh, you can't actually use those values here uh, oops I put should put a question mark there. So um, let's put something like some garbage value. So right away, we can start testing this. If we cover over A4, we'll see that the value that we get out of this type that we just made is just the first character. It's just C. Same thing for the other one, hello. And if we go to the very top one, A1, we get ASDF because there are no characters left to glob or to, to grab or whatever. Um, so it just gives us the false case. Conveniently, we can also use this to take a look at what happens with tail. So tail is, I don't know, some other part. It may be the, maybe it's the last character, maybe it's every other character but the first one. Well, we can check that really easily. Again, if we hover over A4, it's Oronavirus. If we hover over A3, it's ELLO. Um, A2 is kind of interesting. It's an empty string. That's something interesting. And then for A1, we get the false case. So based on that, uh, does that help? I think so. So, I mean, like, in um, this case, we want to start with never, right? Or we want right. to end with never. That's kind of like the base case. Yeah. We so do for, need to recurse, though. So, would I do something like if uh, tail extends blank, then I'm just going to return? Nah, it doesn't matter, because if you union together an empty string, it's not... You're going to hit... So when you get to the empty string case, it's going to return mm -hmm. never, and then nothing will happen. Okay, so that's kind of the base case of your recursion. Yes. I'm still thinking this is going to be some kind of recursion. Yeah, there you yeah go. it so is. You're so like you, you're going to recurse here, but yep. let's look at what happens when you do that. So if I hover over A4, we get never, A3 never, A2 never, so they're all they're all returning never. Right. But we're not, notice uh, TypeScript shows you because it's a little uh, grayed out or so, you don't use head in this solution and we're going to need head somewhere. So where would you incorporate that? Like we did the work uh, of grabbing that value. Right, so I want to do like head or... There it is, yeah, you got it. Go. Let's check them. So we see that if we hover over A4, I mean all the tests pass, so we know it works, but... If we look at all the examples that we were looking at before, we can see pretty clearly that it's working and doing what we expect. It returned never for the empty string. That's perfect. We want that. Mm -hmm. That's this case. Uh, yeah, it just works. Cool, huh? Sweet. Yeah. So I'll show you some other examples of how I saw, you know, how other people solved this. I think the one we found is the good one, is the most simple one. But there's this trick, which is dangerous because uh, it involves saving an accumulator and you can get away with this sometimes and sometimes you don't have a choice but very often if you need to have another type another generic parameter for the accumulator you should just like stay away try to not expose that to the consumer you're going to be exporting this utility 
from some file that other people will use, you don't want to give them the option to pass in a value here because actually the whole thing breaks really quickly if you do that. But still, they pass in an accumulator, which is a string array. They initialize it to an empty string array. And then every time we iterate, we're adding, see here with accumulator dot, 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 mm, and then yeah, first. Yeah. Uh, this is like head and tail in the one we had saw before. So we're going to be we're going to be kind of building up that array. And then at the end, does this look familiar? This is one that Ian and I just did. It's, uh, it's basically taking those things and uh, kind of like untupling them. And this works. Uh, it, it, oh, sorry, let's do this. There we go. Uh, this does work. It passes all the tests, but it's, it's a bit much. So maybe avoid it if you can. And I likewise found another example that's a little bit better, but only because it does this same kind of thing in line. I don't know. Uh, usually if you find yourself doing this, it's okay. But then once you get it working, try to see if you can keep it working by refactoring into something that doesn't use this kind of accumulator. And uh, we did manage to do that in our the thing we came up with. And I think it reads pretty well too. It's pretty, here, let's, let's clear it out. It is pretty easy to see. What do you yeah, think? I think in the other versions, it's a little bit confusing that you're you're spreading in your accumulator and then the head. It, that feels backwards. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I like yeah. Sort of having it the way we have it, where you have the head right, first, right, because it's going. Uh -huh, it just uh -huh. like makes more. And sense. the reason yeah. for that, yeah, yeah, the reason is because it's going backwards through the array, so it has to kind of construct the accumulator backwards too. Um, yeah. Because we're always passing in tail. There's no way in TypeScript to get like everything but the last character. Well, actually, you can. I think you can do. Uh, you can do that, and that will get everything but the last character, something like that. But yeah. okay, that's the solution: string to union. <laughs>